morning guys i'm gonna show you how i make my little morning drink that i've been having every single day since i got these compliment products i am in love with this daily greens and i love the flavor of the gut nurture because it's really like gingery and i have 100 percent noticed a difference taking this specifically because it really gets your digestion going like i i've never felt so empty <laughs> i don't even know what else to say but obviously i feel like eating lots of veggies and fiber and stuff like that it's easy to get kind of bloated but i feel like this gut nurture stuff has been helping just my stomach stay like really flat so i take a scoop of the daily greens and i add it to a jar of water and then i take a little bit smaller of a scoop of the gut nurture and I do that as well. And then I just kind of mix this up in a little bit of water. Add some ice. What I like to do is I add in just like a pinch of salt. Because you guys know I love salt. I love that like those electrolyte drinks. But they're so expensive. And then I started making my own with just these kinds of products and it's just way cheaper and then i just add the juice of half of a lemon add some more water and this is kind of like my drink that i drink as i work out every morning this tastes like a gingery delicious green juice you don't have to add the stevia or salt obviously this does have a little bit of stevia in it so it's like naturally kind of sweet um, this one is very, very gingery, which I love. Like, whenever I make green juice, I add so much ginger to it. I'm obsessed with ginger. So, yeah, it's just kind of like the best of both worlds. It's sweet. It has greens in it. I mean, there is 50% of your daily iron in this, which is amazing. And this combo tastes so good. If you guys have the complement products, try this little combo. You will not regret it. All right, I'm gonna work out cats in the mix. Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. You just give me a... I just got super ready this morning because I'm gonna film a little tips video. That should be up in like a week or two. I'm trying to kind of make my content not just what I eat in a day videos, even though I feel like, so I feel like here in Arizona, they're really boring because honestly, I am like just sitting inside, essentially working all day or like cleaning or cooking. And that's really all I do. There's not a ton to do out here. In the summertime, I don't like being outside a lot. The sun is so strong. The rattlesnakes are out. Like going hiking and stuff is just kind of scary for me because I've been hiking quite a few times in the heat of the summer and like, you know, you just hear a rattlesnake rattle and it's not my favorite thing. Being out in the middle of nowhere and then potentially getting bit by a really venomous snake is not like, you know, something I want to add into my day. But yeah, I'm gonna film a little tips video for you guys and then I'm gonna make some breakfast. I did work out this morning and I walked Dewey and I just cleaned a little bit and got ready obviously. And yeah, I just need to get this video done and then I'll make some breakfast. Do you guys like my new hair extensions? I got these recently. My cat wants to go outside too. I just got done editing this video. Um. I got really into it and just could not stop. I'm very, very hungry now though. And it's like 10 o'clock. So I think I might just make some lunch. I'm craving mashed potatoes so bad because I just made a new batch of my instant vegan gravy, which if you guys have not tried it, I'll leave the link down below. You gotta go try it. Like it is the best. I didn't have mushroom powder because I ran out and I'm just like not restocking anything. I made it without it and it tastes just fine. I just used garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of onion granules, salt. I put some rosemary flakes in it, nutritional yeast, like the standard stuff. It's only been like 35 minutes 
since I ate my mashed potatoes. Derek was in here when I was filming and you would think after being married for eight years and bo both of us being on YouTube like over 10 years, I wouldn't be nervous filming in front of my husband, but I am still, which is, I gotta get over that. It's like weird, but yeah, I'm still hungry. So I'm gonna make some of, or I'm gonna make a spring roll because I have some kelp noodles left to use. So I'll show you guys. I just use these kelp noodles. I get them on Amazon, um, but they're basically just made out of kelp and they have like six calories and they taste like the glass noodles, like the vermicelli rice noodles. Um, you just put them in a bowl, sprinkle it with a little bit of baking soda, and then just add like a little bit of apple cider vinegar and it will create like a foaming reaction. And then all you do is just let it sit. I cover it with water and then I just let it sit for like a minute or two until they're as soft as I want. And then I rinse them really, really, really well, pat them dry and use them in my spring rolls. And they make things a lot more filling. And I like that they're kelp because kelp is really good for you. It has, it's really high in iodine and a lot of, a lot of other minerals. I know some people like eat that sea moss stuff. Mm -mm. That's like what this turns into if you le let these sit overnight. Like, ugh, I can't, I can't. I'm a texture person, like, no. But these are basically made out of the same thing. So I just chopped like three big pieces. Actually, I'm just gonna use these two because they're pretty thick. This tofu I've been getting, I'll show you. Cause I don't have my tofu press, so I've been buying uh, this. They also have like a Nasoya brand that I get at Walmart, but I got this last time I was at Trader Joe's and they're the same. Like I just get the super firm and then you don't have to press it cause I don't have my press. And then I just cover it with soy sauce and I kind of let it sit for um, like a minute or so on each side because then it really soaks in. Since I don't have my air fryer, I've just been doing this in my oven. It's been working fine, just on a little pan. Um, and then I already have my sauce made. It's just my summer roll or my salad roll sauce that I'll leave the link below. It's the best sauce in the world. You cannot uh, convince me otherwise. I could live off this sauce and these spring rolls. So once it's just soaked for a bit i just put it on a non-stick baking sheet and then i just sprinkle the top with garlic powder and i bake it until it's just um starts to get kind of crispy on top and then for the kelp noodles i usually just take out i always just do as much as i'm gonna use in how many rolls and then you just sprinkle some bacon powder add some Vinegar. I used to use lemon juice. This is way more economical to use. And then I just add some water, like I said, and I'll let this sit for like, usually about like two minutes. Cause I like them to still have a little bit of crunch and then you just rinse them really, really, really well. Okay, so then I just put them in back in the bowl with like this is a clean flour sack towel I just use these a lot. They just always look bad because they're stained from things, but I Don't like using paper towels So I'm just gonna shred some carrots and chop up some um, Cucumber and cilantro and some mint and some greens to put in here so I'm just waiting for my tofu to cool. I just put it in the freezer for a little bit because you want to put it in these wraps when it's cold or else it's going to rip the paper. These are the ones I use. I just got them at a local Asian grocery store, but um, I think you can get them on Amazon, but they're so cheap at like any international market. They're like three bucks. And these ones are huge. They're like gigantic. We'll see if I can fit all this stuff in here. I've gotten pretty good at making these fat little rice paper rolls. And you can just shove as much stuff in here as you want. <laughs> this one's gonna be really full. Did rip on the end there. So usually I cut these in half, but since it ripped like that, I'm just gonna spoon my sauce on top and eat it like that. It's one big spring roll, summer, Salad roll, whatever, burrito. 
So I just got done planting some new rose bushes and I'm just gonna eat this little lar bar and then I'm gonna cook dinner in like an hour. I think I'm going to make like just a really random mash of, I have some kidney beans I need to use up and then I'm gonna put like, just make some, <laughs> wow. I'm going to saute some like tomatoes with onion, garlic, I have some kale, and then I have a can of kidney beans that I have no idea what to do with. So I'm gonna throw those in there and do kind of like a really, really lazy chili and then put that on top, maybe with some cashew sour cream. I'm just gonna add in some onion, um, garlic, some tomatoes, and then I'm going to rinse um, these quick. I'll put this at the end with some kale. Crazy over the kidney beans. All right, give me, let me put some in your little bowl. I had some treats in a bowl for him earlier. I think I'm gonna add this into here because I'm gonna do a lot of it. So I kind of just blistered some of the tomatoes. All right, so my sweet potatoes are done. I'm gonna do like three of these because they're pretty small. Cut them in half, I think. Add some of this cashew sour cream. That is it.